Now then people, today I'm at my favouritest venue, which is Bradley Lakes, my local. I'm here today with a, with a good fishing friend of mine, which is Lawrence, he's recording, so I give him full credits for recording, and we thank him for doing so. Anyway, we're going to crack on with um, a little dip, net dipping. I've, I've not really seen much online on other channels about it, and if I have done it, we've done it incorrectly, so we're going to do it correctly today for you. Start with the first net, give it a good spread out, give it a good dip. You want to come in, Lawrence? You can see all that here. Yeah? Give it a good dip, mate. We'll leave that for 30 seconds, which is the boring part, you know. Listen to the birds or something for 30 seconds, unfortunately. Um, or oh, you can hear me waffling on, it's up to you. Just make sure it stays submerged. It does float up bits a bit here and there. And you lift it out section by section to make sure it's all been done properly and then a bit of a shake off and then we transfer to the other bucket make sure we spread it out make sure it all gets submerged and I'm going to leave that there while I do my next one Sure you use, if, if you're fishing for carp, you use carp friendly keep nets, etc. etc. Again, make sure we're getting this properly balanced. Yeah, make sure the net's nice and submerged. And while the net's nice and submerged for 30 seconds, we're going to waffle on about fish safety basically, um, cross contamination of diseases. We all, we, we all should know about it now, nowadays. Um, and this prevents it, it stops it from happening. Um, we need to think about your, um, your fishery managers and owners and their stock at the end of the day every year. They're spending a lot of money out of their pockets to stop these places so we can fish them. The least we can do is spend a little bit of time What's it going to say? Because five minutes, ten minutes to dry them. By then we've set up and we're doing the fishing. It's not caused us any um, inconvenience and we should be doing it. So, um, yeah, that's my little waffle on on that situation. We're doing this properly. If you're going to do it, do it properly. Um, no cross contaminations. Like I said in a previous conversation with Lawrence, I don't use um, my wet bag for anywhere else. I use it for here. Um, I, I use, I have my nets loose for my trolley, and that's basically to stop the cross con cross contamination from my trolley to my nets. So that that's why I have that. Um, hopefully these should be done. That's just lake water. It might be a little bit green because it's left out in the environment. At the end of the day, there's a tree above us. It happens. But at least we have dipped our net. And when we go to our uh, peg, we'll spread, spread them out and I'll show you that in a minute. Make sure the nice and rinsed off. Give it a shake. Careful, you shouldn't get too wet. Um, in the winter, do stick your wet, wet your, your braces on and stuff before you do this because you will get wet. I've managed to do it without getting too wet. So, look, I am. Um, one section at a time. 
just make sure it's all in stuff, make sure it's all in there. And make it look properly. We'll leave that in there for 30 seconds. Um, we'll pause it there and I'll show you how we dry them off. 